Okay, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at using dimensions to create more complex sketches and referencing off work plans. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new part studio. Wait for that to open. And I'm going to rename Now, work planes are these three things here, are the initial ones that you're given. And they're essentially giving you a place to start your work. I can start building up from the floor upwards, from one side across, or the other side across. And they're a nice place to start our work. So we're going to start on the right hand side this time, follow exactly the same process we have done before. This time, I'm going to select a center point rectangle, start in the middle, drag out to any size, and then set these at 60 and 60. And I've already got my dimensions, and I'm nicely referenced in the middle here. Now, with my stairs, I want each set of stairs to be 20 millimeters along and 20 millimeters down, so I should end up with three stairs. What I can do is I can grab a point as opposed to starting to draw with a line, and I can put it anywhere along this top line. I can then use my dimension, and I can set a distance for that from anything I've drawn or from any of the work planes. So I'm going to set the distance between that and there, and as I said, I want that to be 20. So that gives me a place to start. I'm then simply going to create my line. You'll notice it will lock on to a vertical line with little lines through it, which is useful. And I'm going to set that to 20. So each time I go down, I'm going to set it to 20 until I get to the other side, and then just press Escape to finish. Now what I can actually do is I can select a surface to extrude. So I could just extrude this part or just ex uh, extrude this part. But I want a cleaner drawing than that. So what I'm actually going to do is get the trim button and get rid of these two lines. I'll then reorientate myself, extrude. I'm going to set this to 60. So there we go, I've got my first set of stairs. But what I want to do now is I want to have a hole in the middle of each set of stairs. So I'm going to click and click set, uh, select, sketch, sorry. From here, I'm going to draw a 10 millimeter circle. But you can tell already that I haven't managed to draw that accurately. So what I can do is use my dimensions to reference that off here, for example. Now I know that step was 20 millimeters, so if I set the middle of my circle to 10, it should sit in the middle there. And then I can just do that in the other direction. So between here and either of these sides would do, so I'll do it from here. And now I know that circle is in the middle. The next one's a little bit easier because it's already on the point because that's where I started. So that one is there and that shows you one advantage to keeping things nice and simple. And the next one, all I've got to do is exactly the same. Use my dimensions to reference off lines and tell the design where I want it. There we are. Now if I just escape off the dimensions, select all three circles, so they're all highlighted. There we go, it's got to be the inside highlighted. Change my orientation, click extrude. This time I'm going to remove and I want to go through all. You'll see I've got three perfectly lined up holes through my stairs. 